Hi to all. As you can see here, my son, in a kind of a small room, 300 square foot, plays the drums. So how do you get your iPod, iPad, whatever, to uh, be able to play along with music loud enough, okay? Here is some of the ways I've done it, uh, okay? I've got old speakers from an old big system. See, got one there. There's one in the corner there. They're, they're big 200 watt speakers, okay? I am using this old machine with CD and tape and everything has an amplifier built into it, okay? Now, I've also got a record player, an old record player, about 20 years old, I fixed, repaired, have that hooked with its own amp, and it goes into the system, and so I could play that. Now, the same thing works, and then, of course, headphones, you might need extra wires, jacks, special jacks. That's a mono, it only has one black ring on it, and, and then these wires go to a uh, DVD CD player okay then on top I also have uh, my uh, tablet and it has to be used with some and I'll explain that I hope I don't confuse anybody and then in the back a system like this has multiple connections if you can see that Okay, now I'm trying to play music from his first old, six years old or so, first generation iPod. And this one here was an Ematic, and both of them, the batteries are gone dead, won't hold a charge. The only way to play these two, what's on there, is to hook it up to my iPad, or iPod, or tablet okay connected together I just got a new one now that works and they will be if I can hold this camera steady I'll give you a little example all of them have where you just put in your earphones headphones whatever you want you could use it with headphones like that or just the little plugs okay to make these loud, they have to go through an amplifier, and you use uh, all of them. You use the the uh, the jack for the headphones. Now, some of them see the two black marks. That's stereo only, and the new one needs that plug. These two only needed the mono. So now I'm going to give you a little demonstration. I hope I don't confuse you. You just need this kind of a setup. I'm just going to give you a demonstration. So I'm going to hold on. I got to do this. It's not easy. Uh, all right, I got it plugged in. Hold on, I got to turn it on. This is now going to go through that system that I have. Hold on. Oops. Hold on. Sorry about this. Came up on backlight. I'm sorry. Give me a sec. It's supposed to come up where I can hit music. I'm not used to this brand new thing I just got. And again, it's not the greatest up-to-date generation. I'm sorry about the hesitation here, but I just hope to teach you something. Should come up in a minute here. Music. All right, music. Press music. Whoop. Now playing. I'm just going to give you one example. Okay, I press it.
Okay, I'll cut that off. Now, here's the thing. <coughs> that one needs a stereo only in order to work. These old ones, they can use mono and work pretty good, but no battery. I have to use through here. So I plug it in, plug the, the uh, tablet on, and instead of this wire right here going into that, uh, I have the extra wire, and it has to go into over here. And then I out it from there to the speaker jacks in the back. I hope I didn't confuse you. You have to just put your mind together with all the things you have, all the different things, uh, and the jacks on the back of the unit and whatever amplifier you got. Today's amplifiers and newer iPods and pads and iPhones and everything, you can do the same thing. But you, you have to have the right equipment, the cords, and the jacks. I hope this helped you, and I hope it didn't confuse you. But you can do a multiple number of things on that. You heard that, I think. So it works. Hope you enjoyed.